Okay, now next we are going to learn about notation, algebra notation. That means there are some symbols, uh, we want to recognize it and then learn how to use it. Now, do you know algebra actually means we write lesser words? We replace all the words with all the letter. And I don't know about you, it is very good news to me because Mr. Lowe don't like to write. So instead of writing, instead of writing all this, I can just write, uh, instead of writing these words, I can just write a few sentences, a few alphabet to help me understand it. Okay? Why is this stuck? Okay, let's try, huh? Okay, let's try. Now, uh, so these are called variables. What are called variables? The letters. These letters, like X, Y, A, B, C, all these are called letters. And all these are called variables. Variable means what? Variable means, actually, this is like a container. A container, like this container here. And what does a container contain? A number, a number that put inside. Can follow? So this variable represents an unknown value. So this container actually contains a number. All right, so later we will try and uh, use some examples to show this. Now, algebraic expression means it's connected with plus minus times divide. So all these here are called expression. X minus Y, 3A plus B, B squared minus 4AC. All these are called expression. Maybe one of you can tell me, all of you write one expression here, and then one of you will tell me what is the expression that I've written. In 10 seconds, 9, 8, 7. Write down one expression here, then later I ask you to share with us. Expression. Expression means uh, something that contains some alphabet and some operation like plus, minus, times, divide. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, press. Ashley, tell me your expression. Twenty-five. Eight. And? You need to plus something, eh? 25 a 10 times. Okay, Ashley, try. Plus 4B minus C plus D minus E. Whatever it is, whatever you write is all called expression. Can follow? And, uh, now, now uh, you want to understand terms. Okay, terms is very important. Now, terms usually, what I will do is I will draw a physical box to box them up. Okay, so 5x itself is one term. This is how 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 is one term. Do you see that every term actually contains one sign, whether plus or minus? One number and one variable. Example, uh, 5x actually is what? Plus 5x. Do you follow? Y is actually what? Plus 1y. This one? Negative 4x. This one? Negative 3. Then there's no variable behind. Can you follow? Can, uh? Now, so variable means Okay, what we are looking at is we are looking at this ex we are looking at this example. Uh. Now, so for example, okay, highlight this. For example, uh, in this question, uh, 5x plus y minus 4z mi minus 3. So my question to you is, uh, how many terms are there? The answer is 4 terms. So how do I identify the 4 terms? So then you draw the boxes. 5x plus y minus 4z plus 3. Okay, so this is okay, this is okay. Now, how many constants are there? So can you write down?
constant means it is a fixed number without without variable. So what does that mean? Uh, let's look at five x. Is five x a constant? Five x got number and number five, eh? but why is it five x not a constant? Because there's an unknown number called x, so not constant. What about y? No. Negative four z? No. But negative three is it a constant? Yes, because it never change, right? Never change. It will always be negative three. There's no alphabet that is attached behind. There's no variable. Now last one. Coefficient. Can you write down coefficient actually means the number in front of the variable. Can you write down coefficient means the number in front of variable. So let's look at the term and let's look at the coefficient. A coefficient short form is COE then FF. Alright? Now let's try with some example. Huh? All done with the copy. Okay, let's try example first one. 5x, what is the coefficient? 5. Who don't follow? Okay, ah. Uh. No x. Coefficient means the number in front of the variable. Again, ah. Uh, coefficient means the number in front of the variable. So variable is x. So what's the number in front? Ah, uh, 5, like that. So let's try a few. Uh, let's say I have negative x. 2x. Uh, the one x. Let's say negative 2y. What is the coefficient? Two. Wrong. Negative 2. Can you follow? Easy right. That's very easy right. Let's try one more. What if I have negative z? What is the coefficient? Negative 1. Yay! Easy right. Why is it negative 1? So now you know, huh? whenever there is no number, means what? 1. Okay, let's try last one. What is A? What is the variable? And what is the coefficient? 1. Plus or minus? Plus. It's a plus. Can you follow? Easy, right? Now your turn. Turn to the next page. And you try three. Next one. Eating. What is the coefficient of n? One. So easy you can do on the spot. Rachel, where are you? Where is Rachel? Rachel, what is the coefficient of mn? Minus 9, negative 9. Last one. Jesse, what is the constant? Negative 6. Okay, okay. Okay, let's go down to the next one. Now, this one, I want to 